Ah, one more for the game. Once again, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. Uh, I will be trying as much as possible, because I know I, as, I, as I talk during these things, sometimes my voice dips a little bit low, or at least like quieter, more like subdued. I'm going to try to keep that volume up for me, uh, so that you all can, you know, hear my wonderful voice, which is surely the only reason why you're here. Um, but I do realize that, again, like, the volume in this is, is such that uh, I don't want to be shouting over it, but... It is a little bit louder than my normal speaking volume, so uh, I'll try to keep that volume up uh, so you can hear what I'm doing and what I'm thinking and what I'm saying. Anyway. Another round, and our game truly begins. Indeed. So we'll continue the story mode. And this time, we're going up against the Queen of Dust. So, Queen of Dust introduces a new... Uh, aspect of the game uh, she uh, has a curse operating under her or the, during while we're there in the whole level we'll be operating under a particular curse this particular curse is money bags so the more money we have the slower we are walking about in missions um, it doesn't affect at all the 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 tile movement speed moving from card to card on the overworld kind of part of the the game but when we're running around in combat, if we've got as I, I, if we've got a uh, hundred gold, we're gonna move significantly slower than if we have 10, 20 gold. Okay, uh, makes the game makes the game interesting. These curses. So that's a new element that's gonna be added. For a bold this woman, this one. She did not collapse when the empire did. No, she took up arms, organized her people, and vowed that in a country where death had gathered. She would be the one dealing it. There you go. Here's a little background on you there for the Queen of Dust uh, from the dealer. And we need to... No, shut up. Uh, we need to incorporate some more stuff in here. So these... That's 23 damage. That's 25. That's 27. So by rights, we want to chuck both of those. We'll put in two maces. Actually, let's throw the axe out as well. That's 25 as well. Um, I don't know what that does yet. I don't know how much damage this does. As you might be able to guess, though, Frostfang probably will have some aspect of ice attack associated with it. Um, we'll put that in the deck. So we need uh, two more pieces of equipment. Um, we'll throw in Helm of Reflection, absolutely. And... So we have three helmets kicking about. How many armors? Um, I'm going to throw this in and cycle out the Explorer's Helmet. We'll put in an Angel's Wing. Because that could be useful uh, for this one. And let's grab this. So we got uh, we got some of these uh, new quest line event choices things here. So let's, uh, let's see if we can actually put in. So we need we need four more things. Um, let's go. Let's throw in the crucible. That's fun. Uh, we'll throw both of these in. That should be enough for 
this, I think. So let's uh, let's throw out. Let's throw out the ambush. There we go. Yeah, that should do. All right. So there's our deck, and we'll start the game here. New content awaits you. It will be awarded when you complete your run. Now we play for the cup, the first of my symbols. I've added some cards to spice up the game. In addition to the pain and game decks, there are now blessings and curses. Choose your steps carefully. All right. Um, I think I think it updated because when I when I lo loaded up the game today, there was a, a different text crawl on the bottom of the screen. I think they might have uh, put something through here, and I don't know if you're seeing this. I, you know, maybe it was there before. And I just never noticed it. it. Looks like there's like a new version number up in the top left corner. I don't know if. You're seeing that or not? But anyway, let's uh, let's start. Hop, Mr. Lionel. Okay, so um, yeah, blah blah blah. Uh, we'll ask him what he needs. See if we get a free shield again. Bam! There we go. Regular old shield. Okay. Yep. Runs off. Hooray! Free shield. Okay, you got the river. How will you cross this time? Okay. Well, let's attempt to cross it. Now we need to get the huge success here, so. A choice. Select your it's desire. So this, this one or that one, and I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yeah! Spotted it. So uh, your light your light armor makes cro makes the crossing easy and you Sorry, I can't read today. Your light armor makes the crossing easy, and my virus scanner has popped up. Thank you, virus scanner. Okay, there we go. Now it's, now it's closed. Uh, try this again. Your light armor makes the crossing easy, and you dip. You even stop to die for some shiny stones in the riverbed that may catch a few coins. Dealer draws you one gold gain card. 25 cash. A little gold to give you a taste for it. There we go. Once on the other side of the river, you realize that one of the stones is in fact a ring. You put it away to have it cleaned and identified later, then continue on your journey. Well done. There we go. So we, uh, got that token. Help the priest! Priests, gods, and eternal damnations. I have no track with any of it. You meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. For a small share of your provisions, I will bless you in the name of the old gods. So we give the guy half of our food, and he will give us a blessing. Uh, we'll probably, yeah, we will almost certainly find another source of food here. Because uh, we're starting with 17, so within 8 or 9 tiles, we'll absolutely find another source of food. I would hope. So, yeah, we'll go for that. So we got huge success. I think it's this one. Nope, nope, lost track of it. Still get blessed, though. Uh, he says a few words in the language of the old religion and gently touches your forehead. It is done. Draw one blessing card, so we get a blessing now, which is, it doesn't counteract the curse, it's just a, a, a separate effect on top of it. Uh, that's a positive effect as opposed to a negative one. And we get the card's token. Blessings oh. will remain always active and are never removed. Unless you die, of course. Then you're back where you began, as always. Here we go. Uh, Undead that physically strike the player receive damage themselves. Cool. So if we uh, find any skeletons in this particular map, anytime we get hit by them, which hopefully won't be at all, they take damage as well. There's the canyon. We'll get a better weapon here. Let's climb down to retrieve it. Okay, watch where the failure card is. I'm pretty sure this card is safe. So we'll just grab this one. There we go. Very carefully make the way to the bottom. Draw a weapon card. And we get a mace. All right. 
right. Yes, absolutely. It's... Are you sure that's the right approach? Yes. It's much better than the weapon we had. And we... Every step you take consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. Okay. Thank you for that, Mr. Dealer. I'm not sure if you've been noticed. I don't even know if it's been noticeable. This really game is still damage. only beginning. New rules, new tools, new abilities. We have far to go as yet. This is really aggressive, the dealer. All right, next, next tile. All right, the locked landlubber. It's part of our, one of the quest chains. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. The door to the locked land to the landlocked lubber opens with a creak, breaking the silence like a thunderclap in a tomb. The proprietor greets you. Welcome, traveler. Before I before I can treat you with hospitality, I must ask you a very important question. Have you seen, heard, or God forbid, smelled a kraken? So we can either respond, what is a kraken, or uh, that we've never seen one. Do that one, that particular option. Consider yourself lucky. There is no more foul beast than a kraken. I am Carlo. Welcome to the landlocked lubber. After giving you some time to enjoy the warmth and some stale bread, Carlo approaches you. I've heard rumors of boats going missing from the small village port of Nullwich. No survivors, no witnesses. Nullwich is a port run by bandits, thieves, and smugglers. There is no way to know what's really happening there. Perhaps you could have a look around and find out more. I would go, of course, but I have this place to look after. Carlo gestures to the empty, damp-ridden flea hole that he calls a home. This card's token is now yours. So we begin the quest. So the way this will work is we pr we most likely, or we shouldn't actually, find any more parts of this particular quest uh, until we play the next level because this, this is the token here that will open up new stuff for us. Maiden. You might think the world of the cards is grim. Yet, even in the darkness, there is light to be found. Alright, so what can we ask for? Longer life, supplies, or gold? I'm going to ask for supplies, because we're only at four food. So that'll, that should shore us up for the rest of the match, I hope. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm sure you're Solid grateful now. for that. Yeah, 17 food, we're good now. Because uh, the more gold here wouldn't necessarily be as helpful because of that uh, curse that we have on us. Elders of our land... Uh, elements of our kind, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, great. Move on. Treasure chest. A treasure chest? What more iconic emblem of success could we imagine? While exploring a dungeon, you see a treasure chest at the end of a hall. The chest may contain great wealth, but the chamber may be trapped. It's trapped. So let's uh, try to get through. Okay, so we got a 50-50 shot. Oh, uh, they did a double swip. I think this one's okay. Yes! Alright, here we go. So, no traps. We we avoid the traps. Purchase the treasure chest. We play for a token now. Chest looks battered, but still intact. What treasure might it hold? Let's find out. Tempt the pride open. So we'll keep an eye on the failure card. Oh, I lost it. I'm just gonna go with this one. Yeah, all right. Mighty heave, the lock gives way, and the spoils are yours. We gain four game cards. That's awesome. And we get the token. Let's get some more cash. Get some more cash. This is gonna be we're gonna be so slow when we go into combat. Oh my god. <laughs> I think this is the most gold that I've ever had in, in the game so far. Or if it isn't, it's really close. Shop. I'm just gonna buy stuff just to divest ourselves of things. Yeah, let's approach the shop. Just to divest ourselves of the cash that we have. It seems like uh, that would be a good, a good choice overall. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What can we buy? Got desperate measures. Frostfang. Angel's Wing, and Helm of Reflection. So, Desperate Measures. It's more damage. This is this is particularly nice with the cold. Um, 
can activate it and it'll it'll shoot a little frost beam. Let's get this. It is less damage, but that skill is useful. There we go. Uh, you can go ahead what and will you it. do with that? Uh, faster speed. Which isn't really going to be an issue if we spend most of our money. So, yeah, if we reflect a projectile, we there's a little explosion that deals some small damage around us. Grab this. A coarse defense, but a valuable one nonetheless. And... Let's buy some extra food, why not? There we go. Checked all of our cash. And we press on. Hitching a ride. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. Okay, so this is our exit for this particular level. And we move on. You are close on her trail, and more confident than I had imagined. Perhaps she will play beyond this mark, and we will see your true metal. Okay. So, inevitably, she's going to be one of these corner slots. You know, in, in, in <coughs> excuse me, 90% odds she's going to be up here. So, we can try to, you know, milk as many of these as possible, because we did put a lot of new uh, cards in. I might try to just do a lot of backtracking since we have so much food. Anyway, let's uh, go there first, obviously. Song of the White Minotaur. So, another quest line. Again, a token is at stake. Mug and Barrel Inn is renowned for attracting the most talented bards from all around. You arrive there, weary from your adventures, but, ton but tonight's entertainment convinces you to settle by the hearth for a while. Hours pass and the crowd starts to draw thin. The bard begins to move around the room playing requests for small groups. He serenades a pair of young lovers for a meager sum and then is generously tipped for leading a group of blacksmiths in a raucous chorus of foul language aimed at the folks from the next town over. He approaches you. Well, 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 what do we have here? A most distinguished adventurer. No tawdry tale of insipid chivalry or brash tribalism will do. You, sir, merit a stirring bell to bloodshed, heroism, and death. The bard sings for you the tale of the White Minotaur, a legendary beast who is the master of both might and magic. Its power is such that it has felled every adventurer, bounty hunter, or treasure seeker it has ever crossed. At the close of his song, the bard leans in close to you and whispers, The White Minotaur is no myth. I met a man two nights ago who hunts the beast as if he were its long-lost shadow. I'd wager that any adventurer would be interested in the tales he told me over supper. All yours for a small donation. Alright, so we got huge failure. really want to watch where that one goes. Okay, I think this one's okay. Nope, that was one of the failures. Blast. Gold. I don't have 50. Oh, we just spent all of our money. <laughs> oh no. I hate this game. <laughs> this game's dumb. I'm ending the series. <laughs> uh, I, I can't. I don't have any money. Yeah, thanks. Alright, well, that's. Oh, that's. Oh, two good. Seriously, two gold. That's all we needed was two gold. Oh, this is new. A terrifying walk to get to the queen. So many potential places for an assailant to get the upper hand. This could be bad. While journeying near the coast, you hear the rumble overhead. Falling rocks force you to take cover. So we will attempt to dodge. Oh, that's not good. All right, so we really want to keep an eye where this goes. Choose from these options. I think it's this one. Yeah, all right, follow the card. You dodge around the rocks by ducking into a small cave. A few minutes later, you emerge and climb around the new rock fall. Uh, you hear a voice somewhere in above you say, Did I hit him? Ah! Let's let's go after these bandits. I want to attack. Two monster cards. So we got four bandits we're going to be fighting. Get a bit of combat in here. Oh, okay, so we got our new, cause, yeah, uh, so if we hit one, we can shoot our little frost beam. It'll freeze one guy, the first guy that it hits. So, uh, here we go. Yep, thank you. There we go. 
Let's uh get showing it off. Sorry, I didn't say anything during that entire fight, but I comboed the whole thing, which I've never done before. It seems like it's running a little laggy, though. I'm not sure what the deal is. I don't know if they did something in the update or, or what. Uh, loot the bodies of fallen bandits. Two equipment cards. Medium armor. Middle of the road in every way. There we go. And fortitude's A shield breath. for the marathon, not the sprint. Okay, so... We consume less food, which would actually be useful if we go if we do the, the full round loop. So absolutely, we will use that. Effectively a shield in every other capacity though. Um Again okay. the stones tumble upon you. Yeah, seriously. It's attempt to dodge the rocks. Alright, let's watch what the success goes. I think it was this one. Yeah, alright. So another set of bandits. Let's get them. Ooh, six banditmen. Oh, wow, I thought it only froze the one. Alright, hit him, hit him. Get him! Get him! Oh, I got hit. Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. Alright, let's get him. Get him! Smack him! Oh, I broke my combo because I was... I did a... There we go. What's up, buddy? Sorry, I just, I just felt like toying with him for a second. <laughs> Freeze him. Oh, he, oh, I didn't send him flying off the edge. It's cool. It's always cool when you, when the last guy that you knock down, like you send just like plummeting into lava or off a cliff or you know something like that. A shield. A strong left arm is as important oh. as a strong right arm, after That's all. Better. Chains of rage. Uh, it's, why not? It's it's a better medium armor. As pleases you. Reason not to, so let's uh, hop around this way. And boop. Tinker. Nothing really to do here. Uh, you know, I'm gonna sell stuff anyway, because inevitably uh, something will require me to have more money the next time, and then I'll I'll need to use it. Um, and I can always, before I get to the queen, just run over here and divest myself of everything. Again, let's do that. We got the the food to be able to do that. Oops. Um, actually, is there anything I want? No. Okay, so let's sell, sell both of our shields. Yeah. Uh, we got the medium armor. Um, so we'll sell that. There we go, that should be good, right? We got 24 gold, hopefully that'll be enough. In case we run into anything that might require it. And we'll hop. Good lord! An accident or a trap. I okay. wonder. Okay, either this is a new card, or I had literally the luckiest run the last time I played this, because I never encountered this. Ever. Alright, let's watch where the success goes. Keep your eye on the card. Alright, I think it was this one. Oh no, it faked me out! Oh no! I get hit by a bunch of rocks. Ow, okay. Oh dear. Alright, let's get him. No one throws rocks at me and gets away. Ooh, wow, seven guys. You're really just trying to come after us here, aren't you? The dealer. 
Get him! Ah! There we go. You won't break my break my combo. Oh, I broke it myself. I didn't get hit, but I used an extra attack that I shouldn't have used. There we go. Boom. We are. And one last guy. Freeze! Bam. I'm kind of cruel, apparently. Oh, I need to think of. I need to. I need to end my off time, uh, because this is the good use of my time. Think of like witty puns to say when I kill the last guy, or you know, with a stupid weapon or something. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, so, no. And In my day, we okay. simply avoided being wounded. Healing will suffice, however. Don't you get snippy with me, the dealer. Bandit attack! Bandits, eh? Make an enemy of one, and you've oh. made an enemy of all. Two bandits, One oh no. can't help but admire their single-mindedness. All right. Beat the crap out of this guy first. Excuse me, sir. I am beating the crap out of your friend. Here we go. All right. And we get a game card. Extra cash. More gold for you, okay. and with it, more problems. Okay, so I'm gonna go buy a bunch of stuff just to get rid of things. I don't know, I'll buy a bunch of food just to chuck most of our gold so that we are not encumbered during the fight. I don't think you guys got really a chance to see how, how drastically that curse can affect you. Buy four sets of this, and that'll do. Be the most well-fed adventurer. There we go. Oh, is there? A... Yeah, there we go. I am so poor. I'm sure I have you're no grateful money. for that. I have no money. So hopefully that rectifies the situation, gives us the optimal. Boop. And boop. Ah, what a surprise! It's the queen. Noble causes turn to rotten enterprise. You may win this battle, and send the queen to her rightful end. Yet, what have you gained in the process? Well, I'll have gained your cup. That's a thing. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. You've found the Queen of Dust. Let us engage her in mortal combat. To two fellow bandits with her. And she's got a uh, crossbow there that will shoot at us. So, my ideal situation. Come here. Yeah, there you go. Ah! Dove into that. It's on me. Ow. Let's go Let's deal with you here. Nope. Get out of the way. Shoot me. Ah, oh, yeah. Both attack at the same time and you can only count on the one. Nope. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. interested. Oh, seriously? Just rolled right back into it. Here we go. Take that. Mess with this crossbow. Nope. 
I don't want to fight you yet, Queen. I want everything else to be dead. <laughs> I didn't know she could kill the crossbow. That's tremendous. Yeah. Oh, hello. Angry woman, aren't you? Come here. Come at me. Oh. Oh, no dice. Ah, that was not, oh, oh, no, no, get out of the way, get out of the way. There we go. You hit me. Come here. Nope, you're doing your whole whole combo there. There we go. All right. There we go. Ha ha! Down goes the queen. Inevitable, I suppose. So often those who beat plowshare to sword die by the grim instruments of their industry. Still, she fought well and bravely, which is all I expect from my pawns and players. Okay, so we've taken this cup. So, the cup will now affect the entire rest of the course of the game. As you can tell, you, your counterattacks do more damage, um, so you do overall more damage, presumably. Um, you got an increased stun, so if you get a stunning attack, mostly it's a shield bash. I think sometimes uh, you can get like a blessing that will, if you do something, it'll stun as well. Uh, I got better starting gear, which I think we start now with medium armor. Um, start with medium, or you still start with, you get better, start with better stuff, there you go. Uh, bandits are stronger, skeletons are stronger, and bandits now have ranged weapons, so they can throw knives and stuff, and you have to deflect them with your shield. Oh. Here we go. You have earned the first of the symbols of my power and passed the first gate. There is no turning back now. Previously I was merciful, but now I cannot be. It is begun. Okay. I crafted each of these cards over the course of years. You have taken them from me in mere moments. Oh, this is new. This is an entirely new DLC. Oh, you got Mr. Lionel there. You got the, the goblin with the mustache. See? Yeah. This is those. So I've, I've never seen this. This will be this will be interesting. I'll be keen to maybe see if we can figure out how to do that quest. And we're diving in the river. Get the Ring of Survival. I don't know what that does. We've got the... So we got an optional, like, a, this is a benefit that we can receive. Uh, healer's ring and charity. Any card with landlocked lever. Uh, go into smuggler's wharf. Plundering the treasure chest, we receive a draw two option and another, a new helmet mask. We're beating the queen. So this is our next uh, boss figure. So the forest encounter, field of poppies encounter, and the battle at Brooktop encounter. Here we are. And we also receive the following equipment. The fleet cuffs, armor of cold, and the huge hammer. Here we go. Come. Play again. All right. So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching us take down the Queen of Dust here today uh, in this particular session. But today's session draws to a close. So, thank you once again very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Again, likes, comments, all that kind of stuff down there on the bottom as we continue through Hand of Fate in, in honor of December. And uh, until next time, you have a lovely day.